Back to the weather forecast, 72 degrees, a little bit more of a muggy feeling outside now. Yeah, there hasn't been much change in the past <laughs> several days. The weather's kind of been boring, but I mean, I guess that's a good thing because, right. you know, the weather's at least cooperating. If you still got to get out and get supplies and go to the store, uh, we haven't had any rainfall to deal with and we'll have several more days of some dry weather for us, especially going into the rest of your weekend. As we take a live look outside, a beautiful shot of the skyline, which you can actually see right now. But I do expect some more patchy fog to develop overnight. We're going to stay warm and humid. Spring officially begins on Thursday, but it was quite warm today. Already feeling like the season. Patchy fog down toward the Boothville area. Visibility under a mile and a half, but other locations right now are looking good. Do expect some of this fog to spread a little bit further to the north as we go into your Sunday morning. So if you're an early riser and going to be out and about, could encounter some of this reduced visibility. It improves as we go into the afternoon. We'll work in some sunshine, but then going into Monday morning for the start of your week, still could have some of that patchy fog lingering, especially along the coastlines. So you want to keep that in mind if you're going to be up early. 83 degrees the high today, one degree shy of the record of 84 set back in 1955. It got up to 85 though for Bogalusa, also toward the lakefront. The cool spots on the map, Gulfport and Biloxi, both at 77 degrees. And if you're looking for any cool relief, well, we're not getting it, at least through the middle part of the week. Temperatures will remain around 80 to 81 degrees throughout most of next week. What could change that is if this front move through, you see a little bit of rainfall off to the north, but all of this is being carried up and over us, and that's why we just stay in this warm and humid pattern behind the front. Lots of cool air. It just doesn't have a road to get down here, and that's why we're seeing these warm and humid conditions continuing. Cloud cover around tonight. That patchy fog will form early into the morning. Temperature starting out in the low to the mid 60s. And as we go through your day tomorrow, some sunshine returns. Highs in the upper 70s to the low 80s. Into Monday morning, that's when we'll see some fog again down toward the coast, upper 50s to the lower 60s. So this pattern kind of continues each day. Warm and humid mornings and some warm afternoons with those above average temperatures. As far as rain chances are concerned, we'll start to add in some scattered shower potential going throughout next week, but the overall coverage is going to remain low. But if you're looking for the temperatures to drop, we may see that by next weekend. Here comes a cold front on Friday into Saturday. That'll bring a better chance for some scattered showers and temperatures will be dropping behind the front as it moves through. So I still have highs of 82 on Thursday and Friday, but then down to the upper 60s to low 70s on Saturday and it'll knock down that humidity a little bit. So kind of help us out here because it's still warm and humid out there. Low 70s for most areas tonight, down to 64 though in the Hammond area as winds continue out of the southeast. It was breezy today, but now under 10 miles per hour across most of our locations. So for tonight, low to mid 60s, some patchy fog to greet you in the morning and then a consistent pattern for the next several days, 60s and 80s, and then some slight rain chances throughout much of next week.